does your everyday choir music, soprano, alto, tenor, bass, usual sort of thing. And then there's super size choral music. Think Hollywood in Renaissance Italy. Alessandro Strigia was a Mantuan nobleman, and in 1561 it's known that he wrote a piece in 40 parts. It's not for a choir of about 40 people singing the usual four or six lines, but 40 separate parts. So now, if this weren't big enough and expensive already, we've got another 11 people coming in. It's quite normal in Renaissance music, Renaissance publications, to expand the texture for the last movement. But instead of four voices going to six, we've now got 40 to 60. Did he meet Bird and Talis? This is the big question. There's also a balance to be struck between the detail that you get in each of the choirs and the overall glow. To hear this choir and all of these forces together is fantastic. And Talis supposedly wrote Speminalium in response to that, which means that he wrote it because of this mass. Do you do it with just 40 voices? or do you bring instrumental colour in? And I've gone down the Munich route, perhaps that's the one court where we know they did involve a lot of instruments, and it's a, a very colourful experience. Oh. 